Walmart, people. Let's see what they got today. Uh, well, they got some newer ones. At least in the legend side. Bow Slash, Road Trap. Still haven't got the new Titan or Prime Masters in yet. Or Rodimus Unicronus. So, I'm never going to find that damn toy. <laughs> Alright. And, yeah. A couple of elites, but they ain't really got a whole lot here. It's always hit and miss at this one. Man, look at it. The only legends they got is Miss Marvel and Beetle. And some of the cyborgs. So definitely, yeah, they kind of slack in here. And all these pops are in a, in a case because they don't want to be stolen again. All right. Well, see y'all at the next one. Later. Okay, we are at Target. Right. Let's see if we can find anything today. Let's see. Chance Homer. Good luck. <laughs> Fernie, there's your blackout. It's only showed up in our own town. And Jazz Studio Series. Nothing. Yeah, still no Rodimus. Yeah, bunch of the old Zip to come berserkers. Yep, yeah, I don't think we're ever going to see the new stuff. Death Squad. Or Death Star. They always change his name. And. Somebody wanted me to show this. This has been sitting here a long time. As you can see, it's missing his guns and his shield. So, that's not a lie. That's going to sit here forever. Alright. Let's turn around. Let's see here. Yep. Multiverse. It actually doesn't look too bad for a multiverse figure. But for legends, nope. We got Paladin and Paladin and another Paladin. Avengers Wave. Yeah, I got nothing. Nothing worth looking at. Yep. Looks like this is going to be a. A strikeout day. Well, that's okay. That's how it goes sometimes. That's part of hunting, people. Don't let it get too discouraged and whatnot. It just means that, hey, another day, another hunt. Yeah, not seeing nothing. Let's see. Now, see, now this used to have an end cap of Avengers. Infinity War wave. But they're all gone now. Alright, let's go look at the pops. See if they got anything. I doubt it. I never find anything. And I can just tell by now. There ain't nothing here. Like, I've still not seen one of these in a while. A chase. Oh well, that's how it goes. Alright people, that's going to end it probably for today. I'll see you guys back at the house. I did stop at GameStop. I did get something there. But, you know how they are. They hate you taking video and GameStop. So, I'll show you what I got. Alright. Hello my people. It's your Renner from Kelly and Nate. Um, we went on that hunt uh, i think it was on sunday and today's thursday um just getting to wrapping it up from that hunt um didn't really find a whole lot that day um as you guys saw there was there was stuff on the pegs and stuff but i didn't there's nothing i needed um i did stop by GameStop and get a couple of games so of course it's deadpool week so we got deadpool 4 for uh or deadpool 4 ps4 um so 
Well, that's just downright creepy. Um, and then we did get uh, Battlefront 2. So uh, I played the first one. was not super impressed with it at all because uh, there was no career modes, so to speak. So definitely wanted to get this one. I heard there was one, so I wanted to play through that one. Um, went to um, Fry's Electronics. Um, they just to pick up a, a USB replicator drive kind of thing. Um, I needed one for that and for cart uh, for my uh, micro SD card for a reader. Um, but while I was there, I did find something. Goku Black. I've only seen this like once or twice out there in the wild, so. And I had passed on it. I got the uh, rosé color version, so I wanted to get this one to go with it. I might finish up this wave. Who knows? Um, but I definitely wanted the Goku Black to go with it. So, we got that. Um, and then last month, in April, was my birthday. And Box Lunch um, sent me a couple of coupons. Um, one was a $5 off, and then I had a... I think it was like another 5 or $7 one off or something like that. So I ended up redeeming them. Um, from Box Lunch, we end up getting Venom Pool. And this, of course, is from the Contest of Champions line. Um, I don't collect a lot of pops, as you guys know. I got rid of a ton of stuff this last Saturday, last week. Um, but I couldn't go wrong with getting this guy. I'm not. This is a freaking awesome pop. The only one I need is the back and black one that came from Pop in the Box, and then I'll be set for my Deadpool's. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much it from the haul and everything from Sunday time. Um, I did stop by Target though this week and had to get it to go with the rest of my MCU. And this is the Target exclusive um, Black Panther. Wanted to get this. I always like how they do Target does. They have the like, exclusive books and stuff that come with them. So I try to grab this when I can. Um, they used to do the multiple like 3D, 2D, and then DVD sets, but they haven't done that in a long time. So I'm sticking with these kind now. So Target, thank you. Now that was on Wednesday, because Wednesday, of course, was New Comic Book Day. So uh, let's get into these comics and show you what we got. Let's see this one. Okay. And we got a bunch, because I hadn't been there in almost two weeks. I actually haven't been there since free comic book day. So it's been a long time. So, alright, we got All New Wolverine, 35. Cable, 157. Domino, number 2. Exiles, number 3. Uh, Hunt for Wolverine, Claws of a Killer. Okay. The variant. These are cool. I like these these variants the most. This is an inner co uh, connecting cover. Um, and what is it? It's called Where's Wolverine? Sort of like in the old uh, Where's Waldo. So all the Hunt for Wolverines are coming out with this one. So definitely be getting all of them. Uh, let's see. Hunt for Wolverine, the Animantium collection, or Agenda. Uh, the variant for that one. Um, another connecting uh, Where is Wolverine cover. New Mutants, number three, Dead Souls. And then, of course, uh, since this is Wolverine month, they've been doing these. Uh, these are the True Believers. This is the Wolverine Fails Attraction. Uh, we've got the dying game, and I still have this original issue of 90s still, and it's cool because it's an actual deluxe, like, gatefold cover. Wish they actually would have did that with that one. Uh, going back to the 80s, Kitty Pride and Wolverine, number one. Going way back to 1988, um, this is Wolverine, number one. This has been titled Sword Quest. Uh, from Marvel Comic Presents, we've got Blood Hunger, which of course was Wolverine vs. Cyber. Uh, one of the classic issues, of course, is Wolverine vs. Sabretooth, which comes from Wolverine number 10. And let's see, we got Weapon H number 3. Yeah, that, 
there's not there's something wrong with that. Hope hopering with with a brood. That's not gonna turn out well. Uh, X Men Blue number twenty seven. Uh, let's see, X Men: The Wedding Special of uh, Kitty Pride and Colossus. This is pretty much a, uh, this is a continuation of X Men Gold, the current run they're going on. And we've got the the Terry Dotson variant. And then we got X Men Red number is it four? Yeah, four. And then they hooked me up. This is X-Men Gold number one, first print, the original one with the controversial information in it. Um, I had the fried pie variant, which had it, but didn't, it's not the first print. And then I got the second print of this, which was the you know revised version. But definitely wanted this one for my collection. All right, stack one, battle. Stack two, here we go. Okay. So last week was a huge week, of course, because we got Venom number one. This, of course, is from Donnie Cates, you know, and Ryan Stegman. So freaking awesome. Uh, we got the Cooter variant. Let's see. We got the J. Scott Campbell variant. And let's see, we got the uh, Rivera variant. And then, of course, for good measure, the Sketch variant. So you never know, you're going to need these. Uh, this has been an amazing read. Avengers, the new one, this is Avengers number two. What it is, is definitely a continuation of uh, Legacy number one that they had brought up. So definitely it's a good read if you want to see what happens after the fact. Uh, we got Deadpool 300, last issue before they start the new one. Um, Infinity Countdown, Daredevil number one. These, of course, the tie-in issues for for them. Infinity Countdown, probably one of the favorite, if not favorite, series of the year. And this is the Mighty Thor. This is the end, um, kind of the special before uh, they start start over again with Thor. Um, this is kind of the remembrance issue of Lady Thor, Jane Foster, so freaking, I can't, I can't wait to read that one. Uh, this is definitely my cover of the week though. Clayton Crane doing the Punisher, you know, him in the war machine but holding the flag up in the sky. Freaking awesome, I love Crane's work. Uh, we got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Shattered Grid, number 27, the regular cover. And then we got the variant cover as well. Um, cool book just started out, fresh out of DC Metals, Dark Knights Metal, the new Challengers. I have been waiting for this one to come out a long time. I remember reading Challengers of the Unknown a long time ago, so I'm so excited to hear them coming out with it again. Immortal Men 2. Of course, this is done by Jim Lee. Um, Justice League, No Justice, number one. And number two. So, um, if you're unaware of what uh, Justice League, No Justice is, so in the Dark Knight's Metal, they accidentally broke the source wall. So this is them going to go figure out what's going on with the source wall now that it's been um, broken. So, yeah, that's kind of... Where they're going with that one. Alright. So let's take these down because we got some packages that came in the mail. So put these put these away. Because I'm gonna need a little working room. Because a lot of people sent me stuff this week. Um and I wanna show y'all what we got. Some of it was in trades and whatnot like that, um, and some were just flat out purchases I did. Um, let's see. Right. First up, we got a package. This is from uh, Wes Bundy, who's a, a comic guy like I am. Um, these first couple packages, by the way, are comics. That's why I'm kind of keeping the comic pieces together. Um, and Wes has been on the auctions with me. Usually, when, when I'm on with uh, Mike Fazzini and and a couple of other ones 
Wes is huge into uh, Daredevil. Um, and he knows I like X-Men and kind of pretty much any kind of comic, pretty much. Uh, it was funny. I was on uh, Mike's auction last night and um, they were doing like these blind box pulls. And I, I got a couple of them. Um, and they said, so what does Nate like? And Mike's like, Nate likes everything. And that's pretty much a true statement. I mean, I pretty much like all comics, period. Um, I mean, there's favorites, of course. X-Men, of course, is my favorite. And so is De uh, Deadpool and Batman and them. But only certain Deadpool. I really wasn't a big fan of this new series. Sorry, anybody that does like the current run on Deadpool. I love the Duggan and Rosen series. That was that was an awesome. Um, but Wes knew I was looking for a couple of these issues uh, for my set, so he said, "I got you." So let's see what Wes sent us. And dude, you, I mean, you did take care of these books. Ain't, I don't think nothing could have gotten into here, man, with all this cardboard. And what he did is he did like a Gemini shipper in here in combination with all this extra cardboard. So dude, I appreciate that. And there's enough tape on here to wrap the, um, what you call it, Statue of Liberty. Alright. And more tape. Yeah, buddy. Uh, yeah, all this for one comic. <laughs> That's it. That tells you anything. Um, and the reason why, though. House of Mystery. Of course, this is my favorite dude in the world. This is Neil Adams. So this is one ninety nine. So, Wes, thank you, brother. I appreciate it. All right, let's continue on with the goodness. We have one, this is from Peter J. DeGroote. Uh, Pete asked me to help him out with some stuff, uh, grading and things. So I said, okay, I'll definitely help you out. Um, and then he had some auctions he was doing as well. So I said, dude, I'll help you out in any way possible I can. Um, and he had a bunch of books I actually needed for my collection. Um, because I missed out on them. Some of these I missed out on when we were doing the changeover at Hypno uh, earlier this year. So I wasn't able to get these, and now they're skyrocketing in price. So, but I didn't want to pay, you know, exuberant amount of money for all of these books. Um, I don't want to really pay retail because they're just retail books, you know. Some of them. Um, Let's see. Man. Oh. All right. Put you to the side. Let's see. And he did some good old taping action to make sure nothing happens to him, and I can appreciate that. Always makes it fun getting it off though. But I'm not new to this. Um, it's the night of sounds. Um, so what we got was Amazing Spider-Man 794 and 796. That finishes up my first print run on these guys. I definitely needed these. Um, for my collection because I missed out like I said on a lot of these um, we had went from the gap of I got all the way to 793 and then it was 794 all the way to 797 um, so I had to get all those second hand so thank you Pete um, he also sent me Deadpool back in black you know this is a freaking awesome series if you've not read it, this is awesome. This is, you know, you know, hey. It goes with these. Just saying. Uh, we got 
Old Man Logan, number 28, 28 the Venomized Villains comic. Uh, let's see, we got Cable, number 5, Venomized. Of course, now this one really goes with this guy. You know, that's freaking awesome. And this is Liefeld's cover, too, by the way. We got Jean Grey, number 7, Venomized. And then, the big boy. Venom. This is number one, variant edition. Black and white cover. This is Del Auto, guys. So, definitely super excited to get this one. So, Pete, dude, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Alright. We got one more comic box, I think. Who knows? Uh, definitely needed these issues though and you'll understand why here in a second alright and I like everybody uses these Gemini ones they make it so much easier and they protect the books so well Grid pre comic book day. This, of course, is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I got two copies of it. Um, my uh, store did not get any of these in um, because there was a mess up, I guess, on the order at Hypno. I asked them about them, they, they were trying to get it for me, but they couldn't. Um, but I needed these, of course, for the Shattered Grid series that I'm reading. Um, so, so thank you. Um, and these were, I think, a buck a piece or something like that. For 50 cents each or something like that. I know they're supposed to be free, but hey, that's what happens, you know, second hand. You, get, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Okay. So, uh, this is coming from Heriberto Vasquez. Um, we had did a trade. He wanted some Marvel Legends. And so I told him, I said, alright. Because I saw something on the Syndicate buy, sell, and trade. Um, and I was getting rid of pretty much all my Marvel Legends except for the Spider-Man and uh, uh, X-Men ones. So, he, he sent me something that I've been after for a little while. but didn't want to pay an enormous price for it. And let's see. Some papers. Papers. Okay. Just making sure nothing else in there. And what we got is SH Figuarts Android number 17. These ones have actually been hard to find lately. Um, I still need to get 16 and 18 to go with it. But like I said, I did a trade with this. Um, and these ones have been going way, like I said, way up in price lately. Um, and I think it's because there hasn't been any reissue because SH typically doesn't do any reissues at all. So. So, Herberto, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Definitely, this needs to go with my cell. Uh, perfect cell. Uh, go, Gohan and Trunks over there. So, thank you, brother. Okay. Then, we got a box. And this is from my boy, Brad Campbell. Uh, I sent Brad out some stuff a while back. Um, and Brad was trying to find this for me. Um, so, let's see. What did Brad send me? And it's funny because I sent Brad a bunch of stuff in his in his box uh, and he had found this and he, he like he hit me up immediately he's like I know you want this um, so let's see alright we got a Nirvana hurt hat hurt Nirvana hat and he got us from TJ Maxx so you guys know me I'm a huge music guy Nirvana's my band so I'll have to stretch this one out in my head a little big for it. Let's see. There we go. Alright, there we go. 
Thank you, Brad. Um, so let's see. Uh, so as a note, it says, um, Nate, sorry this is so late. I'm including a little Christmas gift for the Syndicate Santa. Hope you enjoy the package. All right, all right, all right. Brad Campbell. So <laughs> he sent me a Christmas tree ornament and with a stormtrooper helmet. So, dude, you know this is going on the tree next year, man. Dude, Brad, thank you so much, man. And then what he found me um, was this 40th Han. Um, I wanted one to open up to put with my Black Series. So, thank you so much, Brad. Dude, you're freaking awesome, man. All right. I said, today's a goody day. All right. Now... Last box of the night, my people. And this one is from my boy, the Revenant Hulk, on YouTube. Otherwise known as Antonio Towns, or my boy. Let's just call him. He's Tony. Tony has um, been a good friend of mine since I started this. I'm out of here. Um, and we've been doing trades ever since the beginning, literally. Um, so... I sent Tony a couple of boxes a couple of weeks ago, um, so he said I got something I'm gonna send you. I'm like, okay. He had, I mean, he had a list of things I needed, you know, because that's just how it goes. Um, but let's see, let's see what's in this. He said there was no, no surprises in this box. You guys remember, right there. I don't know if you can see it. He started me on Toy Biz, and he started me on the X Men wave the Jubilee Wave, so he ended up um, sending me both a Strife and a Cyclops, so I'm on that line now to try to get them, so thank you Tony, there's a lot in this box brother, alright, let's see, they all packed as well too, all right. So first up, let's see. Uh, all right. I got so much bubble wrap to, in in the house. I can tear some up. It ain't gonna matter. This, of course, is from DC Collectibles. Um, this is part of their series. This is the Arrow, of course, from Arrow. So, Stu, thank you, man. And then... Ooh, I've been waiting on this guy for a long time. I ain't worried about no knife on this one. Well, I just ripped this guy out. Finally, snarl. I got my Dinobot snarl. Um, I know I've seen it and stuff, you know, uh, a couple times in stores and whatnot, but I needed snarl because he's he's my he's one of my Dino buddies. You know, I've already got Grimlock and I had Swoop and I had uh, Slag. I'm not going to call him Slug, sorry, he's Slag, you know, um, so, freaking awesome, man, thank you, and like I said, I, I knew Tony already got me one, so it was one of those things, it's like, okay, I'm, like, I'm just going to be awake, I'm going to be patient, because I know Tony will get, get it to me, um, and let's see here, Cool. We got a DC Icons Lex Luthor. So, um, I recently just got out of the DC Icons game, um, but here's the catch. I'm collecting certain uh, DC figures still, so and Lex Luthor is definitely going to be in my, my collection because I got Superman. Superman needs his arch enemy, 
So, Tony, thank you, brother. Okay. Then, he sent me, and then he got this a long time before I ever found it. Um, he sent me an X23, and this this card is minty, minty, nice and fresh. This one's going on the wall, brother. So, thank you, thank you so so very much. Then, let's see. Man, now Tony does some packaging, brother. Cause he's like me. He likes some. He he's pretty much all mint on card kind of guy. Um, he'll do some stuff. He'll take it out, but he does usually mint on cards. He always tries to find the best cards. And dude, this is even better than the one I found right out of a case, man. We got Deadpool. This, of course, is the '90s Deadpool uh, from the Deadpool wave. So, Tony, thank you, brother. And then we got one last thing in the package. And Tony said there was no surprises in this package. So thank you for not surprising me. I don't need a heart attack. Um, so let's see. Oh. Yeah, buddy. They complete now. Come out of there. Come on. There we go. Sludge. All right. Dinobots complete finally. I'm still not building Volcanicus though. I don't care what they're supposed to be able to do. The Dinobots do not combine into Volcanicus, okay? Uh, they're going to be probably in their dino modes and sitting on the shelf. And being played with a lot. I'll tell you that because I like playing with my toys. Um, but yeah, dude, Tony, thank you from the bottom of my heart, man, for everything. I really appreciate it. For these two, for Lex, for Vixen, X-23, and for um, Deadpool, thank you guys so much. Um, Brad, dude, thank you for the hat, for the ornament, and for Han, um, for... Um, man, I'm just kind of speechless, guys. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Um, for Pete DeGroot, um, for the comics, for uh, Wes for the comics, and then for, um, I'm, always, I'm always butchering his name. I, I keep saying it wrong, I think. I feel bad, and it's Herbert, Herberto, Herberto. I'm sorry if I butchered your name, man, so I'm sorry, but thank you for the uh, Android 17. Um, so yeah, we got a lot of cool stuff, and, and it's been an awesome week. Um, tomorrow... Or if you're watching this, probably today, actually, on Friday. Um, we will be having Cindy Comics Weekly tonight versus on Thursday night, because Thursday night was opening night for Deadpool. Um, so definitely come out and hang out with us. We'll talk some comics. Me and BJ, maybe Plastic Attic or uh, uh, Sensi Nerd might be there as well. Who knows? Uh, just, or Brock Rivers, Life with Brock. So we'll see. Um, but, yeah, we always have a good time. Um, this is it, guys. We, we had a lot of cool stuff in today. A lot of comics, a lot of toys. And everything um, and again I do want to go back and say a big shout out again to my boys the renegades from last weekend freaking awesome um, I've had this set off the side and kind of wanting to show it um, and I was so glad I was able to get this guy because this Chenron is freaking awesome um, that's all I'm gonna say so this has been your redneck from Cali Nate you guys take it easy. You have a good one. All right, all right, all right.